I am Dr. Monalisa Sahu, consultant infectious diseases at Yashoda Hospitals. Today I will be telling you about the differences between the tuberculosis and brucellosis, both of which present with similar symptoms like fevers, generalized body aches, severe back pain and swelling in the lymph nodes and so on. But there are many differences between those two. I shall be telling you about tuberculosis and then about the brucellosis. Tuberculosis is caused by the tubacteria, mycobacterium tuberculosis. It can be involving various organs like uh, the most common being the lungs, the known as pulmonary tuberculosis and the extra pulmonary organs like uh, the other organs except the lungs uh, which is known as the extra pulmonary tuberculosis the various organs being uh, like the lymph nodes the spine the bones even the brain and uh, the other organs the reproductive organs like uh, the ovary uterus prostate abdominal organs like liver spleen uh, intestines and even the skin and the heart so uh, the various symptoms depend upon the organs involved like if the lungs are involved the patient may present with severe chest pain cough and uh, cough with expectoration and so on if the lymph nodes are involved it can present as a swelling in the neck and if the abdominal organs are involved it can present as a pain abdomen and uh, loss of appetite and so on if the heart is involved it can present as a chest pain so the various symptoms depend upon the organs involved and it is transmitted uh, by coming in contact with the patients with active tuberculosis close contact with them like the droplets produced during the cough and sneezing of these patients the incubation period is also varied in these people like it can range from a few weeks to even a couple of years the most commonly being two to six months on the incubation period and coming to the diagnosis we usually diagnose it uh, by the presentation of the patient the clinical symptoms and then the radiological symptoms like uh, that uh, we see on the x-ray and the CT scan uh, and the MRI of the various organs and also the uh, microbiological diagnosis that is the demonstration of the TB bacilli in the various organs like uh, taking a biopsy of the involved organs or even the like sputum or uh, depending upon the organs involved. It can be prevented by avoiding close contact with the TB uh, active TB patients and uh, obeying the cough etiquettes and uh, like when uh, the patient should be kept in well ventilated rooms and these uh, measures should be taken and an early diagnosis and treatment is also very essential to prevent these infections. The treatment of the TB is uh, varied like if it is only a pulmonary tuberculosis and a non-resistant one it may be as short as six months to uh, if it is a like a bone tb or a spine tb or even the brain is involved or if it is a case of resistant tb the duration of treatment is prolonged uh, maybe up to a year or even longer so uh, this is uh, what we need to know about the tuberculosis and coming to about uh, the brucellosis it is also an infection which has similar symptoms like the tb and is mostly uh, known as the mimicker of tb like the symptoms of fever back pain lymph node swelling and generalized body aches and fatigue are common in this but it is caused by a different bacteria the brucella militensis which is mostly transmitted by the consumption of unpasteurized milk or milk products and also in the lab workers when they are dealing with the samples and even the butchers and abattoir workers uh, where they deal with the products of the animals which are infected with the brucella so these uh, things uh, like can transmit and the incubation period ranges from few weeks to few months and it is mostly two to six weeks uh, which is the incubation period for the brucella. The manifestations of brucella mostly uh, include uh, severe body pains and fevers, loss of appetite and even uh, severe back pain which is a spondylodiscitis. The spine can be involved in this. So the diagnosis of this is made by uh, the serological methods by that is by demonstration of antibodies in the blood as well as the blood cultures which uh, show the growth of the bacteria in the blood. The treatment duration is different for the brucella like it ranges for several weeks and uh, can be well treated with the antibiotics. And prevention of this brucella can be done by like uh, not consuming unpasteurized milk products and uh, uh, obeying the uh, safety measures while handling with the animal products which may be contaminated with the brucella. So both the TB as well as the brucella are treatable diseases but there are several differences as we have already discussed. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.